This is the story of three friends and their college contact strategies. The first friend was too aggressive and became annoying. The second friend played it too cool and was overlooked. But the third friend did it just right. So what is a college contact strategy? Well, a college contact strategy ooh, ooh, is a... Oh, pick me, pick me! Uh, in a moment. We're not there yet. Oh, uh, okay. A college contact strategy is a plan to make sure the admission office of the college you're interested in recognizes your name and knows you're serious about attending. A good college contact strategy can also give you an edge. And now, Wise Choice will tell you how. It turns out all three friends were interested in the same school, State University. The first friend was very aggressive. Oh, oh, pick me, State University. I'm very interested in your school. She went to alumni meet and greet programs. Oh, oh, pick me, State University alumni. I really want to go to your school. And called the admission office every week. Hello, admission office. Pick me, pick me. I want to go to State U more than anything. But her enthusiasm was too much. It overwhelmed the staff. Hello? Uh, hello? Anyone there? The second friend had a less aggressive strategy. He didn't contact State U at all his junior year. I just played it cool. He didn't go to any college fairs or alumni functions. My application was stellar. I figured that would be enough to get me noticed. And he didn't meet with any of the state university reps who came to his school. I had great grades and SAT scores, so why bother? So when he submitted his stealth application, not one person at State U knew how interested he was in their school, or if he would even accept an offer of admission. Not one? Not one. But the third friend did everything just right. He met with his guidance counselor and started planning his strategy his junior year. He went to college fairs and met with state university reps. I asked questions about life on campus, got their business cards, and followed up with thank you notes. You did? Over the summer, he went to a couple of alumni meet and greets and had one campus tour. Just one? I also followed up with an email to let my admission contact know when I had something new to report, like when I was elected captain of the track team. They keep track of how many times you contact them, you know. They do? They do. In fact, most admission offices have software to track the number of calls, emails, and contacts students have with them. If they know you're interested, they're more likely to accept you. In some cases, you could get even more financial aid. The third friend also did a lot of research and chose to have an admissions interview. So when it came time to review his application, State University knew him more than just on paper because he had done everything right. Well, I wouldn't say everything. Um, well, that's what the book says. Well, if that's what the book says. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. Now, can anyone tell me what the moral is? Ooh, ooh, I can. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, start your junior year. Do lots of research on the school and know why it's a good choice for you. Meet with everyone you can and follow up with thank you notes. Keep the admissions office abreast of new and relevant information. Show you're interested. Oh, but don't be annoying. You got it. Ooh, ooh, I do?